hey what's up fam welcome back to the channel so we are about to get our day started i'm a little behind but i'm here and i'm looking for my charge not my charger my camera stick so that i can hold it or sit it prop it up because i gotta get my jump rope on before i go and do anything else that is something that i said i was gonna do to myself or for myself is take care of myself <laughs> Hey y'all, hey, what's up cousins? How are y'all doing? Welcome back to Tommy Bites TV Homestead. So I forgot to do the intro, so that's why I'm doing it now. I appreciate y'all being here and watching these homesteading videos, but I'm gonna do a little bit of workout in this one just because it's a day in the life type of vlog. And of course, here come my neighbors right when I get ready to record a workout. <laughs> Too much. My feet don't want to pick up anymore. There. Did a little over 100. So, y'all, when I tell you that workout ain't no joke. So, I'm about to get set up in a little bit, but first, let's go over here and check the rabbits. So, Lily's eating her nice romaine i went and put some sleeves on because you know you just never know <laughs> you just never know i am not i see movement Got a little bit of gut on them. So cute. I just want to make sure that all oh, that one's moving. To ooh, that one's getting a lot of food. Look at that gut. Three, he's been eating a lot. He or she has been eating a lot. Feel in the back, y'all. She got so much fur. See, I mean, that's what you deal with a lot of fur. If you ever decide to do rabbits, you're dealing. She put and she keeps pulling fur. I guess as it deteriorates, she pulls more. I don't know. I'm gonna. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. What's up, Peter? I gotta give them some water and hay. I'm gonna give her some hay she's due this week this is red so i'll be watching her this week to see when she starts gathering hay in her mouth then i'll put her nesting box in but she's definitely gotten bigger in the last week so one of the worst things that I don't like about farmsteading 
is when it's time to clean out either the rabbit trays where the poop and pee is or when it's time to clean this whole thing out but I just cleaned this whole thing out me and my husband I did a video on that um, so that's not what I'm doing right now right now I'm about to take the water the food out so that I can get in there and actually take the shovel and the rake and rake the old stuff around move it around and then add the new to it so I'm gonna round them up pretty much by having them go into their coop area so hopefully they can't get out see how it's piled up high right here you might not be able to see it from the shade but and how they dig down in here and they like to do their dirt bath in here it was the same so now it's down low they're, they're just digging a hole so i'm gonna do that and i'll bring you along so y'all if you look down in the description box i have a link to the boots that i'm wearing they're the brand hysia they keep your feet warm and dry they have um discounts going on right now the 20 percent off is no longer available i don't believe but the 10 percent discount is available if you use the code word tommy so check the description box and yeah and they do have a hundred year warranty like i said in my other video you're not going to get that anywhere else so y'all check them out they told me that a few of you guys did and i appreciate it because it does help this channel also so i basically got everything like evened out right here but what i noticed when i was in that corner over there i'm gonna go around the out almost looked like something was trying to get in at them see how this is bent out i have this all around the edges because you can see you can a raccoon or whatever can just stick their paw in there and snatch um and it's buried down that's why i have mulch here because it's buried down here too so if they try to dig like that so i'm just gonna kick it back this is another corner so now i'm going to add the new pine shavings on top of the old <laughs> So because birds like this, chickens, turkey, don't have any type of teeth, you need to give them like little pebbles that, that helps them grind up their food. So what I do, I'll use those. You. They have food in here already. So, what I do is I order oyster shells, shells crushed up. You can, you might be able to find them in Tractor Supply, but I ordered mine because I wanted a big box. I just put them in there with their food. And then I also put some, so this is, so you can see. Uh, basically, crushed them up really well. It's like a treat on Easter for them. Whoa! Oh, 
chicken. <laughs> that was so funny. I gotta clean the heck out of this phone for sure. That chicken said, uh-uh, sis, what you trying to do? Cook me? Isn't it beautiful how this seed that I planted sprouted this in these so I overseeded in one bed and I'm moving them to a different bed to give them more space so now I have them spaced out in this bed over here so like I said something keeps eating these before I can get a chance to look at that so I'm going to move them in hopes that they won't know where I moved them. And these are strawberries. And remember, it's okay, so I pulled up the base, but remember I said when they grow out like this and they lay on the ground, they give you more strawberry plants. And that's exactly what has happened here. So I gotta dig that piece up also. So this is where I planted the strawberries over here. I'm making a whole little patio section where I have um, squash or zucchini, one of the two, <laughs> in these buckets here. I'm gonna add some more buckets right here and all out here. And then over here is where, again, I have all of the strawberries. And I'm hoping, I'm moving them from the squirrels, but I have a feeling the birds are gonna get them. Stay here for 